Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I am Ragnats. I'm Yunus. I am Arden. And... Oh my god, we lost <laughs> more awesome me characters too. die. <laughs> this, this has just turned into all your favorite characters die. Yeah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Game of Thrones. In a way. Oh. Yeah, it's shaping up like a, <laughs> yeah, a, a Jorah Harmony novel. version of Game of Thrones? Yeah. All of them summon their reason, yeah. Alright, so, uh, well, Avatar said, uh, Ginza, I think, Gin right? Things yeah. are happening and in Ginza. Seno? Where is that? Seno, I think, was where, uh, where we were at with uh, the Amala Temple. That, that's where, oh, okay. that's where text, oh, uh... Oh, and we've already done that. Yeah, so, that, that, yeah, that's what she was saying. One has already happened. One has happened. One is yeah, going yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Ginza then. Okay. Yeah. So we should probably uh, take a moment to stop and stop and uh, get up. And, yeah, yeah, we stop. Or summon God. Yeah. Like the actual material forms of the summon. I wonder if there's anybody left in the city either. There's possibly a single mannequin in existence. And a woman again. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we don't need mannequins to heal. Oh! Uh, huh. I've come to the sons of Asakusa. Uh, you can get attacked in the city now. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, the it's just shot. been totally overrun. Yeah. So, Okay. Yeah, it sucks that that is no longer a happy, safe town. Just no longer a place to go. Yep. Yeah, more awful things than that. Yep. <laughs> I wonder what I'm going to get to respond to a conversation in the affirmative instead of the screw you, I didn't die, you hate you. Guts and your reason and everything about you. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about these reasons is that none of them are really good things. Right. Hey, Eleanor. Okay. Soon thou will shall come. Okay. okay. One day our world will come. <laughs> See if uh, Nick has any uh, useful info. Right, right next to Loki's room. Uh, we finally found it. Enough Magatsuhi needed for the creation of a new world. Now we can create our ideal world of stillness. She's my thing. How are you? Yep. Right towards us. Yeah, the little swanky doors. Swanky doors, yeah. You also got plans to make new people in the future fast. Maybe we will find new people in the week don't exist. I think it's a pretty rotten idea, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're great. Good job, Sol. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, Jesus. Screw you, guys. The assembly of Nihila? Yep. It's always fun with the new people. We'll be back with a large amount of money. Mom got Suki at the Diet Building. Ironic that a human is using humans to be considered rather than the other way around. So I th I, I, I've heard that it's actually pronounced Ziet hmm. because it's actually based on the German word for government. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense because why diet? Yeah. yeah like, that doesn't make any sense. Is that so Musubi believes in total individuality. The world is one where you can do anything you want without ever having to meddle with anyone else. What do you think of that? I like how they're both they're, just, they're both commenting on the other two uh, yeah, reasons. Yeah, there's reasons, right. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's a third guy. Maybe, yeah. maybe he'll tell us. Yeah. There we go. Kijima is still a world that isn't controlled by emotions. You become one with the universe, and there's no need 
to suffer. It fits a person who keeps his cool, like me. Huh. I'm cool. That's that's Hikawa. That's Hikawa, yeah. I mean, they're obviously all Shijima supporters, but only one of them actually. Right. Yeah. Alright, so. Where's the theme? I guess, I guess the, the theme is the Yeah, which I believe is. Well, I mean, there's other guys. You could ask them if they know what the. There's that guy, there's a guy at the end of the Yeah. Freaking Elagors! <laughs> We're not even fighting them this time, they're everywhere. Ah, oh, speaking of this guy. Yeah, he was like totally the most powerful guy for so long. He's dropping shots with us. A world of silence. A painless world because emotions do not control. The only ones that can live there are beings that have spiritually surpassed humans and that's right. We will all become gods. Yeah, I kind of depends on your mythology. I, right? I kind of <laughs> feel like, you know, the irony is that of all of the characters, Hikawa is the least uh, likable, but his reason is actually the it's, most sensible. It's the of only the one that I have only felt even slightly compelled towards. Yeah, but I hate the idea of their emotions. Like every single one of these reasons is just. Right, but I mean, like, it's like, it's like they're like, okay, it's peaceful, right? You know. Peace. Yeah, at least yeah. people aren't just massacring each other. At least yeah, there's right. that. Commander <laughs> Ikawa is just so clever. Even if our headquarters was attacked, even if we lost the nightmare system, we'd still be victorious. He conceives plans as if he knows where the principal clue is. We beat you up. Brilliant strategist. Well, where is he? Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you, Demon in the courtroom. <laughs> right. You want to just quickly ask Nick one more time if she's still there? Yeah. I wonder if it's one of those things that you it, it's easier to know if you are familiar with this part of Tokyo? Yeah. Perhaps, yeah. Because, I mean, so the deep building is actually close to the uh, Tokyo Tower. Yeah. And we and the Tokyo Tower is accessible from Ginza. Well, we haven't checked down that side, have we? Not really. We just wander around. We can take the stairs up ahead on the... I'd probably save as well. Yes. All the good, all the good stuff is underground. Like all the shopping. Stuff. There's another allegory. You're gonna talk to him. The world belongs to the assembly. I mean, it will be shrouded in silence. <laughs> it will be shrouded in silence. <laughs> Yeah, you never read that. 
I think you. I think you. I think you need. Uh, I think you need to have reached the final vibration for you. All right, well, it sounds like we need to go find ourselves a nice diet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it has so many floors that by the time you reach the top of it, you end up losing a lot of weight. That's why they call it All right, so let's, so let's uh, head out. Back here? And any staircase will do. Except for the top right. Except for the top right. That's, that's wrong. Any other way. Why not that one? Because you have to go through low future and then have to go I don't think you can just seem completely defiant, like, not right, huh? I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no one tells me I'm not right. Yeah. No, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> what do you think I'm going like? Right? No, he, he, his room at the, uh, behind Nix's lounge. Uh, I think you have to go to the east. Oh, what is the salt? The demons of Milo have returned again. Oh, that one. The Neo demons all worked up. All saying it's time about how it's time for creation. Weird, huh? <laughs> So you take the bridge to the right, and I'll let you go take both the giant uh, highway. The highway to birds. I feel like this was well before. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like I feel like their UI actually predated the map. Oh yeah. Somewhere around here. I've been looking for it for a really long time. We were here like months ago. And I think you've already found it, but, but I'm still looking. <laughs> Watch out for big hairy guys. This is my trip on the bridge. Kind of funny how there's a rainbow bridge there, and there's also a rainbow bridge in New York. Well, I mean, the, the bridge between New York and Canada at uh, Niagara is the rainbow bridge. This region is Halo's top priority. <laughs> Security here, super tight. Tight like a, uh, I probably shouldn't say. Oh no! Uh, so now I go around the uh, outside of the, the darkness. So, like, those two entrances were like the big dungeon that we did. Did the one that jammed it? He made a giant run. I always love it when an enemy that dies in like one or two hits takes a turn to kill itself. So, and you're like, well, you weren't going to actually heal yourself. Uh, you weren't going to survive. I hit you through the. Poor camera angle, poor. It's not just the camera angle, it's the fact that you don't know what has killed you. Yeah. But the fact that the camera kind of pulled back a little makes it a little hard to tell where the trees are colliding. This game definitely has a design flaws, but 
Now we get to find out for reals. <laughs> Little man that struggled in the darkness and clung to life. You have done well until now. I watched as you prevailed over many adversaries. Are you the truth to her? It is I who will watch the end of the time. Come this year. Show me your incomparable strength. Let me see the raging heart of a demon. Give me your all. Because he's mean and he likes betting at it. But he but he has surprised me plenty before, so this this is the, the last time I'm making this guess. But we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> okay, so we must take some of you guys out. On the 
price I do now have a good idea of what I'm So unavoidable. That's a guy you are not very likely to kill. Yeah. Which I believe is exactly what I said. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> no, I mean, so you know, when I was when I was um, looking up certain things uh, in preparation for this budget play. Um, it, I did see someone say that the two most likely um, rage quit moments are Matador. Ace Gun and Matt. Yeah. I'm letting, I'm letting <laughs> it's for the viewers. Yeah. It's, it, you know, Matador because he's just a huge jump in difficulty in a really surprising location. And then this guy because. He's a very strange. Oh, you can not Even though he's also a really strange fight. But of course, you know, the ironic thing about Trumpeter is that if you haven't fought up to Harlot, you don't even end up seeing Trumpeter. Yes. Yeah. But if you have been fighting him up to now, now he's completely unavoidable. Yep. Yeah, we can't progress without him. I mean, unless you can somehow get that lucky thing we did with uh, Hill Rider and just be like, no! And they don't say that they grab you anyway. Right. Yeah, I imagine maybe you could just say, I don't know, like, it just says you have to like, stay here. But but I but I don't know if they if they all have the same chance or you know if some of them are actually on a stable or what. There's well, that big hairy guy. Obviously, we need the highest possible damage. Uh, I don't know. I think Satanta does a heck of a lot with the dark sword, but I don't know if that's the best round that we have. Well, so just crunching numbers. Um, if you want to be able to beat him in exactly a turn, uh, you require, you have to be able to do, uh, over 1375 on average per turn. Yeah, and then the focus 
hit from Hero. That's only, I mean, that's like 1,200 once he's bumped and stuff. Every other turn. Yeah, every other turn, so it's half that amount. Right. He's on average doing 600 a turn, which is, makes it pretty feasible, but that also requires you to get to that point where he's, where the enemy is debuffed enough and you are buffed enough. And of course, halfway through, you always, always have a chance to be killed with nothing to do about it. Sort of. That'll be my one hand. Sort of. There is actually something you can do about it, but it is not. It, it is actually. Uh, that is part of the puzzle. No, it's not, it's not in just things. It's more of it's, it's you can play his targeting spell. Uh, Yeah, I was kind of wishing there was like a closer save point. Actually, there is a slightly closer save point. In the entrance of the new hello thing, there's a save point. Same one, but it's when you got to, like when you got to closer to the floor, I think. Yeah. I'm playing a game!